So I'm all packed up, ready to go. I've smashed on fruit all morning. I've had uh, maybe 10 small mangoes now, a whole watermelon and four pears. Feel pretty good. And I, I, I've got another day till my visa's ready, but I fancy exploring and I don't want to stay in the same hotel again. So I'm going to go and hit the other side of Bali, uh, Kuta. I hear it's pretty nasty. Um, it wasn't so bad when I was there last, but you need to see things for yourself. So I'm going to check out Kuta today. So I had this nice intuition today to change hotels and come over to Kuta side and look what I found. $15 a night, this is the room. Twin beds, which actually works because I've got all this stuff with me. I've got way too much stuff even though I thought I was travelling light. And uh, yeah, somewhere for the bike, somewhere to sit at the swimming pool which I'm about to get in. So this is why I love the whole water for and my car vegan. I'm in Kuta, and you can take a look. It's basically uh, a high street with loads of bars and 7-Eleven. <laughs> and there's no fruit here at all, there's no um, vegetarian restaurants. I've been trying to find for nearly half an hour now. It's called it's a, it's a falafel place. It was the only one that was listed. So I'm walking up and down, nothing there. And I'm really hungry because I've been on the bike. I've always got the bike with me. And uh, I found this place. It's, a, it's a, just the average Italian place. And I walked in, a really nice Indian, Indonesian lady came out. And I said, hello. Thank you very much. This is her. And I just said, can I get a pizza with lots of vegetables and no cheese? And she's like, yeah. She goes, okay, I can get zucchini, eggplant. How about some red peppers? How about some uh, tomatoes, mushrooms? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. great. And she's going to do that. So, um, still vegan. You guys have no idea what a challenge this is for me to come away on my own to a resort and not be just binge eating on hamburgers I got them everywhere here these like Aussie food called like Aussie Aussie burger bar and all that and not be just smashing on it and I'm not and it's amazing so that's why you know when people ask me about weight loss I don't give a fuck about weight loss I'm no longer killing myself who gives a fuck about weight loss, man? I can come away now and not eat two and a half animals and end up so bloated and ill that I stay in. I'm out on my bike eight hours a day cruising. I'm only doing 13 kph, but I'm out on a brow and I'm not a danger to myself. And all the animals can be that. So, in the grand perspective, it's working so well. And if it wasn't for when I, I try, I've been here, I tried to do this when I was raw, and I would just freak out, couldn't stay raw, feel really bad about it, and go to McDonald's. And now I can be so much more creative. I'm walking like, hang on, wait there. Raw till four pizza. Sort of. I didn't ask for low sodium and low oil. I could do it. Say no oil. I'll try. Mm. I'll do it next time. I can't bother to get on I think I want the oil. But uh, I did fruit all day, so fruit till fruit till four, I think. Uh, so it's, it's going well. I mean, I pat myself on the back. It's going brilliantly. So this is my pizza, and it actually looks pretty low oil anyway. Lots of veggies, no cheese of a lot of traffic. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it looks like. This pizza is so good. It doesn't taste of any oil. It's a really light sauce, really thin and crunchy base and loaded with veggies. Thank you, Raw to Thank you so much. You have no idea what I'd be eating if I didn't get into this high carb vegan lifestyle. I'm so grateful, so grateful. 
found the Falafel place and I've had the Falafel and now I think I've ever done it. Oh, it's all really full. So I think I found a vegan restaurant on the map. I want to try and find it. But Kuta's is not my favourite place. It's very different from when I was here before. It's more like a city now. It's a bit... Yeah. But I'm having fun. I like exploring. You know how, how we roll. And uh, I'm going to shoot off now to try and find this restaurant. So this is uh, Kuta at night. Starbucks. Circle K. KFC. McDonald's. <laughs> This road wasn't even here before when I came. There was no road, it was just sand. And then some huts here, and some very, you know, small little houses in small streets. And there was, Poppies 1 and Poppies 2 were the only streets, and they were the, where the bungalows were, Poppies Bungalow 1 and Poppies Bungalow 2. And they're in there somewhere, amongst all of this. But yeah, Kuta, what a mess. I mean, I can have fun anywhere, but really. I've come here, so you don't have to. We're cycling on the longest road now for about 5k, about three miles, and it's exactly like this the whole way. Just tons of traffic, same shops. <laughs> I mean, I know it's fun and everything to get drunk and whatever, but you know, these kind of places, they don't offer much. It really is. Tattoo, coffee, burger place swimwear tattoo coffee burger place swimwear and the occasional Japanese restaurant thrown in so hopefully there's a nice little vegan restaurant down here somewhere that I can find before a car or something hits me because these people they don't give a fuck it's nothing like Thailand like they don't take like in Thailand they respond to signals so if you point at a car with a stop like they stop here nobody stops they just do not give a fuck and everyone's constantly trying to overtake you and like squeeze through any gap smile <laughs> but the people are nice let's not forget that so i'm in Semenyak now which is next to kuta and this is like the more up apparently more up market place so let's see if we can find what we're looking for Look what I found. Divine Earth. Raw vegan cuisine. Let's hit it. Raw vegan cuisine. So I found this place called Divine Earth and it's basically a fantastic gourmet, raw gourmet restaurant. Look at the uh, photos and you can make up your own salad. It's amazing and they've got raw veggie burgers, it just looks really good, and they've got really interesting smoothies as well, like berry, papaya, date, flaxseed oil, cacao, coconut milk. So I'm going to have some fun here tonight. So it's a lot of traffic, and Koo is not that great, but I do have a feeling I'm going to grow to love this place in its new incarnation. I'm sure when I get to a bud, if they've got a good fruit market, I'm going to love it. I can, I can, I love Chiang Mai. Like, oh, I really love Chiang Mai. But there is a certain sophistication here, like this place, that you don't have in Chiang Mai. And I really like that. I kind of like it. What can I say? It feels good to be in this restaurant. With this really amazing gourmet food. So let's see what happens. So that's my drink. It's called Suri, and it's berries, papaya, date, Flaxseed oil, cacao, coconut milk, and guarana. It's so rich and flavorful. Oh my god, look at this salad. It's insane. That is so good. That's like the perfect salad. the veggie burger and then this is the salad <laughs> it's epic it's really really good food that might have been the best salad I've ever had <laughs> so good and now I've got the veggie burger with more salad 
everything they bring out that's amazing. And this uh, burger thing here, look. It's got pesto. Uh, almond bread, vegetables. It's really confusing because it's very fatty. But I don't think these fats would give you diabetes. Or fats, I don't know. But it's really satisfying. Interesting times. Look at this what it's got in here. The muffie. Yeah, it looks good. And uh, what's that one? Apple muffin. Is this one? What's that made from? And hazelnut. This is my dessert. Chocolate crunch. Almonds, hazelnuts, and chocolate. Wow, that was just an epic experience. It's raw gourmet, and I know people knock it, and I used to knock it myself because I couldn't make it. Well, I could, but it would take me a week. But if you can get it on your doorstep for 12 quid, for four, four dishes, a big smoothie, a chocolate cake, a massive salad, and a veggie burger. Oh, mate, that's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And now I've got a five, six K ride home. Look at this place, it's amazing. There you go.